Listen to the full audio series on the Pocket FM app. Click on the link in the description to install now. After hours of driving, Robert finally stopped the car at a beautiful resort. When Robert and Emma entered the resort, they saw Jennifer, Andrew, and Samuel fishing in a lake outside the resort lobby. Robert held Emma's hand and they walked together to join the others. Looking at them walking together holding hands, Jennifer felt extremely jealous. Robert, come out here. We're having a fishing competition. Oh, Emma, you're here too. Am I not welcome? What? No, no, you're family now. You're welcome everywhere with us. Robert, why don't you go compete with the boys? They're winning and I can't compete with them. Emma, let us girls sit and relax. No, she'll sit beside me. She's my lucky star. Jennifer gave a weird look at Emma as Robert pulled her and made her sit next to him. Emma could clearly see Jennifer was feeling awkward. Emma couldn't help but think if she was still not over Robert. You talk too highly of me. What if you don't win? I will. Robert was right. He did win. Samuel started teasing Emma, but soon Robert got up and left with Emma to go and choose a room. How do you like this room? It's pretty. The scenery is out of the world. Great choice. We'll take this room then. We? Can't we take two separate rooms? I'm pretty sure they have plenty of rooms. No. In their eyes, you're my lover. We need to behave like lovers. This is not done. We stay here together and I won't touch you. I promise. That's fair, right? Now let's go outside. As Robert and Emma left the room, they bumped into Jennifer. I hope you've chosen your room. And, um, Robert, can I talk to you privately? Emma smiled and walked away from them, but Robert didn't like it. What is it? Be quick. I don't want to keep my girlfriend waiting. Are you serious with the girl? It hurts me to see you with- Don't start again. We're past that now. Don't keep bringing up things that are long forgotten. Robert walked away angrily from there. A little later, they all met with each other to go golfing. But Emma suggested playing cards instead because she didn't want Andrew to feel left out because of being in a wheelchair. While they were playing, Robert and Jennifer kept winning and Emma kept losing. So Emma decided to prepare barbecue for everyone instead. Meanwhile, the Erickson brothers were discussing matters about the Meyer family. I've heard you've been targeting the Meyer family recently. Yep, that's right. But why now, all of a sudden? Do you think it's the right time? Do you think it's not the right time? They owe us a life. It's finally time for them to pay us back. Oh, I have so much planned for them. They'll regret every decision they ever made. But you don't sweat over it. I'll handle them on my own. While the brothers were talking, Jennifer went to Emma, but Robert soon caught up and gave a surprise hug to Emma. Seeing Robert like this with Emma made Jennifer's heart ache. She was clearly not over Robert. The barbecue smoke is not good. Robert, it's going to spoil Emma's skin. It's not a problem. I've had worse. Jennifer, why don't you go and sit? I'm here with Emma now. I'll help her. No, no, it's all good. You go and sit. I'll stay here with her. Emma could feel the awkwardness between them, and it made her feel uncomfortable. How about you both stay here and I go and sit? Emma's words made Jennifer awkward, and she left without uttering a word. Robert grabbed a chair and sat on the chair. He noticed Jennifer staring at them, so he pulled Emma and made her sit on his lap. In the future, don't suggest any games if you're not good at it. Why? What's wrong with that? Why would you suggest a game you don't know how to play? It's stupid and embarrassing. You ended up losing the game. So what? It's just a game. <laughs> well, you are right. Robert and Emma were laughing when the other three noticed them. Samuel said that he had never seen Robert so happy, and Emma and Robert were perfect for each other. Andrew looked at Jennifer, who was not having the best of moments, but still managed to smile. You're right. They look like a high school couple. That's right. Well, I'm tired now and need a nap. Jennifer, will you take me to the room? Are you tired? Would you like to rest? Yes, please. As Emma and Robert entered the bedroom, Emma quickly took the couch. But Robert stood in front of her like a wall. What are you doing? You can take the bed. I'll sleep here. The bed is too big, Emma. I can't and I won't sleep on the bed alone. Come and sleep with me. I won't touch you. Or I'll sleep here on the couch with you. Without arguing with Robert, Emma went to bed. Emma thought that she would have a hard time falling asleep. 
but by the time she woke up, it was already evening. When she went out, she found Andrew and Robert playing chess by the lake. Jennifer and Samuel were also sitting and enjoying themselves. Miss Green, you're up. Come and sit with me. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, Robert, why didn't you wake me up? I didn't want to disturb you. You were exhausted. Now that you're up, let's all go have dinner and call it a night. The next morning, when the family gathered again together, Jennifer started asking Emma questions about her family. But Robert quickly shut her down by saying Emma's mother had passed away and that this topic must not be picked up again. Some time later, Jennifer excused herself to go take a shower while the rest were talking. When it had been long enough, Robert asked Emma to look for Jennifer. Emma, why don't you go and call Jennifer to take Andrew for breakfast? Emma left, and when she entered Jennifer's room and called out for her, there was no answer. Emma went in to check the washroom and saw the ground covered with rose petals, a bottle of wine, and Jennifer sleeping in the bathtub. Emma got flashbacks from the time her mother died, in a bathtub, and couldn't help but scream. Jennifer woke up in a shock. <coughs> Miss Green? Are you okay? Miss Green? Robert was already in the corridor and heard Emma scream. He ran to her and took Emma in his arms. Jennifer saw how Robert cared about Emma, and it burned her heart. Robert never showed so much care and love for her. Robert then took Emma to their room. Emma, will you tell me what happened? Emma couldn't say anything. Do you want to be alone? Should I go out for some time? Robert looked into Emma's eyes and he could see fear. Robert lay on the bed next to her. Don't worry. I'll be here with you as long as you want me to. Trust me. No one can hurt you now that I am here. Robert held Emma tightly and hugged her until she fell asleep. You're up. How are you feeling? Emma just gave a faint smile, trying to look okay, and went to the washroom. Later, both Robert and Emma went to have their meal with the others. Miss Green, I'm so glad to see that you're okay. Please, come and sit. I'm so sorry. Did I scare you earlier? I didn't mean to. Don't apologize. Did you think I was dead? You screamed so loudly. I... I... Seeing you like that, it just reminded me of something. While they all ate the last meal of the vacation together, Robert felt anxious that he didn't know anything about Emma's past. After the vacation, Emma went back to her daily life. Emma was at the office when suddenly she got a call from Jack. It's been so long. Where are you these days, little sister? Work. Where else could I be? I've got a reservation for us tonight, and I won't take no for an answer. So, see you at our usual place tonight. Before Emma could answer, Jack cut the call. Emma informed Robert that she wouldn't be having dinner with him because Jack had invited her. Robert wasn't pleased, but he had no control over what Emma decided to do. I know you won't take it, but please consider it a gift from your older brother. I bought a house near the university for you. You can pay me back in the future, but please accept it. Emma was shocked and didn't know what to do. A house was such a huge thing. Would she accept it? How will the Meyer family react when they find out? And what about Robert, who is already trying to find the missing pieces of the puzzle? To know what happens next. Hi guys, Emma here. Listen to full episodes of Cupid's Curse exclusively on the Pocket FM app. Click the link in the description or simply search Pocket FM on Play Store or App Store to install now.